In this video, we're going to take a look at Parts for Altium Libraries. Parts is a turnkey database for Altium DBLib and SVN DBLib libraries. You can download Parts at pcbparts.blogspot.com. Just click on the Download tab. Um, you can download either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. Um, determine which version you should download. Just take a look at your Microsoft Office installation. If you're using, for example, Excel 32-bit, you would need to download the 32-bit version. Or if you're um, using a 64-bit Office, um, you can download the 64-bit version. Anyway, after you download that, um, you can extract the files, and then in Altium, go to the Panels, Components, and select to install the parts DBLib, and then you're ready to start placing parts. Okay, one of the first things you may notice about some of the symbols in the parts library right here is that they're all the same height, the same length from pin to pin. To pin. That's for the capacitors, resistors, and inductors. Um, and that's very handy um, because we can quickly switch out components in a schematic um, without having to do any rewiring or changing of the lengths of the wires. For example, let's look at some Altium content. Notice how the capacitor and the resistor and the inductor that's been downloaded from Altium is all different sizes. Also, um, notice that the tantalum capacitors didn't use a polarized symbol. It probably should be changed to use a polarized symbol. Electrolytic caps looked okay. But anyway, in the, in the um, library provided in the demo for parts, all of the components are consistently in the same size. And again, the benefit of that is, is that we can very quickly um, change components in a schematic without needing to do any rewiring. So let's look at that in the components panel, for example. Um, again, this is using AD19.1.5, which is the latest release, 64-bit uh, release of Altium. And uh, I've done a little simple schematic here just to show an example of what we can do um, with, with a database library and switching out the parts. So let's take a look at some of these resistors, for example. Um, we can go down and select some uh, different resistors. So these were 1K ohm resistors. And if we look at those properties, you'll see it was a, had a design ID of 30,011 in the library. I just use a simple sequential number for the ID. But um, so anyway, we've got two 1K ohm parts here. I'll pin this down. But let's say we wanted to change those to, uh, let me pull that back so you can watch the schematic. So if we wanted to change those to 10K ohms, we could just simply look over in our library and say, yeah, OK, 10K ohms is 30,009. So we can just change our number in our properties for the selected parts. Now we have 10K ohm resistors. Okay, So we could do the same thing again, um, make this part selection all simple. We'll filter that to just components only. And then. Um, now, since all these parts are the same size, I mean, I really wouldn't want them to all be 10K ohm libraries or 10K ohm parts, but let's go back to making them all 1K ohm. So we could just, for the design ID, type in 30,011. There you go. Now all of our parts are 1K ohm resistors. Um, this one was a little bit different over here. The same size, but uh, I had a little bit different in the wiring. Anyway, the point is, is that you can very quickly and easily switch out components. Um, this is useful when suddenly an engineer or somebody wants you to change a, a resistor to uh, from 1K to 10K or some other new value. Um, you can do that quickly through several pages in the schematic by uh, right-clicking on a part and using Find Similar and find all of the uh, 10K ohm, say 0402s in your design. So here we picked a couple. And uh, but then again, you know, we could just very easily change that number to a different part. 
Okay, that's one of the benefits of, uh, of using a database solution and using uh, parts that are consistently sized. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to download a copy of uh, parts um, and grab a copy of these symbols for yourself, you can find it over at pcbparts.blogspot.com. Just click on the Download tab and uh, determine whether or not you should download 32-bit uh, or the 64-bit version. Um, that depends on what version of Microsoft Office you have installed on your computer. So if you have 32-bit Microsoft Office, you should install the 32-bit um, database solution. It's an access database. Or if you're using a 64-bit, download the 64-bit version. Thanks for taking a look at the video.